Want to experience something new in your life? You can do this by shifting your identity. Hey everyone, welcome back. Carlos here again. So today I'm going to be sharing with you what shifting is and shifting your identity to become that person that is able to achieve that goal that you've set for yourself. So being able to shift your identity is something that I believe is going to really help you get into those or fill those shoes of that person that you are trying to become. All of us have an identity that we abide by on a daily basis. Whether you are working nine to five, whether you are a parent, whether you're a brother, a baker, a chef, whatever you name it, you have an identity that you fall under when you are out in this world living your life as it. So as a worker, nine to five, you are that person that is going to work, interacting with people, doing your job and leaving. You are acting like that person that works at nine to five. You are thinking from that perspective in that position. When you set up goals for yourself, whether it be a different career or whether it be maybe a relationship that you want to get into, maybe it's certain friendships, it's certain experiences. In order for you to be able to obtain that, you have to align yourself, your identity to that end goal. Now, how do you even do this? What is like, what does this all mean, Carlos? Like identity shifting, what is all that? When I decided that I wanted to take my real estate career and start with the program, I decided that I was going to embody that realtor that had already achieved this success. What would this realtor look like? What would, what kind of actions would they take? You know that they are interacting with people. They are showing homes. They embody confidence and security. So that is exactly what I do. What I do when I shift into that identity of a realtor, I make sure that I am aware and that I am consciously thinking about who it is that I am becoming. Also, another thing that will help you be able to get into that alignment, being that person that will get you to that goal, is being able to feel the feelings of that person that has already achieved that goal. Think about shifting when you are conscious and aware of what is happening around you. You are getting rid or trying to get rid of any negative thoughts and paying attention to what it is that you're going to do. When you are shifting, you are pretty much gathering the ideal version of yourself and you are actively and consciously trying to create that. This does not mean that you are going to forcefully go and create an outcome. You need to be able to be that person and be okay where it is that you are. Be okay in the present moment. When you do shift that identity to that person that has that goal, that has achieved that desire, that has achieved that career, that is in that relationship, that experience in where you are already aligned will manifest into your life. You have to believe and trust that by you making this change, you will be able to see and experience a different outcome. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you are going through these shifts, certain experiences will come that are not really in alignment with what it is that you're trying to create. Now, you are allowing for whatever the universe has for you to catch up to you and give you what it is that you want. You have to reprogram yourself to believe that you are this new person. Think about what it is that you would be going through. If you were that ideal version of yourself, would you be looking at things that aren't going right? Any time, any type of negativity or something contradicting to what it is that you're trying to go after or be, that is really when you're going to have to step up and really say to yourself, this is only happening because there are changes that are happening within you. These changes will benefit you at the end. However, if you don't persist through them, then these changes will take a little bit longer. Also remember to detach yourself from whatever it is that you're trying to create. If you are attached to it, you are going to be trying to control what it is that is happening. So by you doing that, the only thing that you are doing is creating pressure and force on this goal and it's going to become a lot more difficult for you. What would you do if you were to receive that desire, that goal right now? How will you maintain it if you haven't become that person that can maintain that goal, that can maintain that desire, that can maintain that achievement? The main goal of all this identity shifting is for you to shift and change your inner self into a self that will get to that goal as easy 
and effortlessly as possible without going and ruffling any feathers, stepping on people, changing your mind and who you believe yourself to be is not going to be an overnight thing. There will be times when you know you step into that version immediately when you do that the best thing to do is to celebrate those moments the power is within you once you decide that you want to experience something different what you will have to do is wake up and shift yourself into that identity into that version of you that is capable of achieving these goals. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave some comments. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm always looking for questions so that I can make more videos and just expand on this channel. And if you haven't done so, make sure you like, share this video, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.